To use one of your phrases, we're fucked. How is that possible? It's all here, airtight. No, 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 how is that possible? You have to find a way, you have to do something. I'm not just gonna roll over and be someone's wife. Actually, I think you are. No! <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay? No! <laughs> What's that? They're here! They were coming out of flames! <laughs> one by one! Floating on big white parachutes on the outer island. And so it began. <laughs> First, there was the picking. Hello, ladies. My name is Marcus, and I've got a big, fat bank account. Because that's what it all comes down to, doesn't it? I've got a recumbent bicycle in the garage and a summer house in the Netherlands. I work hard, I play hard. I'm not going to waste your time asking a bunch of questions, because that's not what this is about, <laughs> is it? No, we're here to operate on instinct to get back to basics and celebrate the fact that underneath our Egyptian cotton polo shirts, we are animals. Let's lock this down. I'll take the mean one. I will destroy you. Ooh, a live wire, I like that. I want a woman who's a tiger in the sheets and on the streets. Kitty likes to scratch, not a problem. I'll scratch right back. Me. Ow. Hi, everybody! <laughs> <laughs> My name is Ken, and I'm. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know that this is not what we had envisioned for ourselves, but the world is hard, isn't it? I mean, to be alone, it's... you... drift... It is difficult to anchor oneself in these modern times, what with the cell phones and the, this arrangement. <laughs> well, not classically, perhaps empowering, maybe we could make it something good. We could choose to make a family within our families. We can lean into something unconventional and its very tradition and create a new world based on mutual respect and trust. And I'll take the pretty one. <laughs> I don't hate women. 
I want that on record. Because another one of the stories that we tell about women who won't shut up is that we hate women. I don't hate women, but I do hate ignorant women. I hate women who refuse to acknowledge the day-to-day -day injustice out of this millennium-long clusterfuck of oppression. Out of a fear of being labeled a feminist. A fear of being less likable. Or a fear of being less fuckable. Because I'm sorry, when did anybody get anything done by being likable or fuckable or not a feminist? <laughs> when you're fuckable, you get fucked. And then you get fucked over. Like ability is deliberate cowardice. And refusing to label yourself as a feminist is just being complicit to having the world shit on you. But I digress. <laughs> if I would have been willing to leave my sisters, I would have been fine. One woman can slip out of the trunk. But I had a responsibility. These girls aren't like me, for the most part. They drink the Kool-Aid like thirsty dogs. If I had just left them there, then they would have just gone along, never realizing that their choices weren't really choices at all. I don't hate anybody. That doesn't mean I'm going to take anybody's shit, either. First, there was the picking. Then there was the courting. Then there was the wedding, and then there was the begging. Help us, help us, help us. Please, please, please. Save us, save us, save us. Save us, please, help us, please. Save us, please, help us, please. Save us, please, No, I'm sorry. We can't help you. Thrice to thine and thrice to mine and 
price again to make up night. Peace. The child's wound up. Fair is foul and foul is fair. Oh, through the fog and fill the air. So foul and fair a day I am not seen. <laughs> How far is it called to force? <laughs> Still thou mistakes or commits these knaveries willfully. Believe 
me, King of Shadows. I mistook. Oh. <laughs> and now you tell me I should know the man by the Athenian garments he had on, and so far blameless proves my enterprise, as I have anointed an Athenian's eyes. And so far am I glad it did so sort as this, their jangling. <laughs> I esteem a sport. Thou seest these lovers seek a place to fight. I, therefore, Robin, overcast the night and leave these testy rivals so far astray that one may not come in another's way. When they next wake, all of this derision shall seem a dream and fruitless vision. And back to Athens, these lovers shall wend in league, whose date till death shall never end. And while there's in this affair, I do thee employ, I'll to my queen, another charmed eye released from monster's view. All things shall be peace. Yeah. <laughs> up and down, up and down. I will lead them up and down. I am feared in a field and a town. Goblin, lead them up and down. Come, sit thee down upon this flowery bed. <laughs> 